up? It's your girl Shanice. Welcome and welcome back to my channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit more chill. I'm just going to be sitting here and talking to you guys and updating you guys about my three-year braces journey. So I have been getting so many questions about my braces journey. Y'all are asking me a million and one questions about what am I taking them off? Are they even coming off? Like what does your treatment look like now? Um, just a whole bunch of different questions so I'm gonna try to answer most of them for you in this video if not all of them and don't mind me if I'm looking at my phone I do have some notes in here so I'm gonna be referring back to my notes um, this should be a fairly short video I don't know we'll see I might be rambling too much but then again I don't really talk that much anyways let's just hop right into this video and don't forget to subscribe because I see y'all over 50% of people who watch my video do not subscribe to my channel so support your girl and subscribe okay thank you okay so let's just rewind a little bit and let me refresh you guys about what my original treatment plan was and the type of braces that i do have so one being i do have Damon braces they are not ceramic braces and they are not your traditional braces definitely ask your orthodontist like what are the benefits of having Damon braces and if they are the right fit for you i love my Damon braces number two i got my braces three years and three months ago exactly number three my treatment plan was originally supposed to be i think it was two and a half years or two years one or the other but in the two year range number four yes i still have my braces on <laughs> see and my teeth are not perfect yet let's fast forward to today so it's been three years and three months since i had my braces on and it's been one hell of a journey okay and honestly i wouldn't change it for anything it has been one of the best investments that i've done for myself cosmetically absolutely love the way that my face looks now the way that my teeth look now my whole jaw has changed my facial structure has changed the way that i talk changed just so many benefits from getting braces like I cannot stress it enough and if you were ever thinking about getting braces you know when you're in your 20s do it so I was originally supposed to get my braces off before my wedding date which was this year July 12th 2020 and unfortunately that didn't happen because of the pandemic so the pandemic really 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 pushed things back like I didn't get to go to my orthodontist for like six months so that really put a strain on my teeth my teeth were like shifting going in all directions like we couldn't do the proper adjustments um, at that time so I really was set back because of the pandemic which I'm okay with because of course health is well so um, yeah that definitely pushed our timeline way back and it is what it is so also in July 2020 big changes I finally did move to the United States to live with my man it was unexpected it was unplanned it just kind of happened and it kind of had to happen so here I am I paid seven thousand dollars in Canada to fix my teeth to get my braces to have this treatment done and I have to leave I'm uprooted and I gotta go so unfortunately that seven thousand dollars is theirs now because I did pay it off pretty much I think there was like two hundred dollars left um, but yeah I paid seven thousand dollars Canadian and I did not get to finish my treatment so yeah it was very sad because obviously this was the dentist office that I've been going to since I was like eight years old they knew me I knew them like they knew everything about my teeth the struggles and you know they helped me create this beautiful smile that I had now so it was definitely bittersweet but it is what it is like time to move on so I'm here now in the United States I had to find me a new orthodontist to finish my treatment luckily I do have an orthodontist friend that I met here and she kind of led me in the right direction she referred me to some great orthodontists that work on Damon braces so I ended up going to one of them and they were very thorough with like their treatment plan and how they will be able to fix my teeth and they asked me what I didn't like about my smile right now and what I would want to change and they really were just like in tune I was just like whoa like I like this I like this so I ended up going with them I'm just like let's just do this let's let's get this finished okay so went in for my consultation and do 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 <laughs> i was hit with another price um i already knew that i was gonna have to pay out of pocket again because no one's just gonna take me off for free i think it was 2300 dollars usd and my treatment plan was eight to nine months maximum he said but honestly now when it comes to treatment plans and how much time is gonna be the length of it I don't even believe it anymore y'all I don't believe it <laughs> like you can tell me two years is gonna be three years okay but um 
yeah he said eight to nine months max so that's what i'm gonna go by as long as i follow everything that he said to do wear my elastics do all of that then it should be eight to nine months and in that time it will be off for my wedding so pray for me y'all pray for me so i'm actually going to insert a clip of me going into my consultation which ended up being my first orthodontist appointment here so let's roll the clip and you came from canada is that correct mm -hmm. and medical findings is clear um she does have a dental habit of tantra tantra is it <laughs> by that swallow your saliva Maybe that was in the past, or it's just constantly feeling that you're, you're pushing because I don't see any kind of sign of tone trust anymore. I still do it. You're still doing it? Let me ask you this question. So no medical conditions? No. No allergies? No. No medicines that you're taking through the mouth? No. no? There are a couple of things that we need to make it better, to be honest with you here, but it's going to take some time, okay? Mm -hmm. And your help. For example, we need to correct up to here, right there. This is going to be the ideal. But if you put this one in the right place, look how your bite skier completely out. Yeah. Next one. Recent rapid growth? None. Extra oral? Bite on for me, please. Lips together. We have chin deviated to the right. About three millimeters. Maxillary incisor to lip. Just relax your lips. Open your mouth. Relax your lips. Right there. Don't move from there, please. We have about three millimeters. Big smile for me, please. It's smiling. It's about nine millimeters. Midline discrepancy? Yes. Right on. Lower midline is deviated to the right. Three millimeters. Upper midline is on. Profile? Lips together. Profile is straight. You present also a gingival recession, lower left one. Mm -hmm. uh, next step is, uh, well, treatment time. This is going to be roughly about eight months. Night, no, just put it night just in case, please. Nine months. Okay. appointment that day and that same day he did actually take off some of my brackets and reposition them he also changed the wires and it was a pretty long process the crazy thing is, is that I was actually able to feel my teeth and it felt so smooth oh my god like, I was like whoa and they actually looked really big too I was like these are my teeth now they look big <laughs> he said he's very confident that he can make me have the smile that I want um, I also ended up asking him about like jaw surgery. I'm like, so do you think I still have to get jaw surgery? He's like, whoa, 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 whoa. He said, no. So the main things he said I have wrong with my teeth now are pretty minor and will just be minor adjustments. So the first one being is that they are not aligned. So my big teeth or my top teeth and my bottom teeth do not line up. The bottom teeth I think is more shifted to the left, just like slightly. So even when I talk or like when I bite down on food, I can kind of feel that, that it's kind of off. So he said, we got to fix that. I do have receding gums. Well, it's literally just under one tooth, which is so weird. I think that's the one I had that crooked tooth, the one that was literally all the way sideways. And as my teeth shifted, um, my gums started to recede there. And my orthodontist in Toronto, he said that's kind of normal. That could definitely happen because of stress on your gums. So I really actually did notice that and so one of my subscribers pointed it out in my last um, braces update and I was just like, whoa, ew, 
oh my god that looks scary <laughs> so i was actually supposed to get the gum surgery when i was back in toronto but the pandemic happened so i wasn't able to do it and i think they were just supposed to take gum from the roof of my mouth or somewhere in my mouth and then put it there um so i definitely have to go get that fixed or get that worked on which i heard is pretty painful just because it's in your mouth and your mouth is always wet I feel like it's gonna be kind of hard to heal or take longer to heal. He also said my bottom teeth are kind of at an angle, so they're like this and they're not parallel. So your teeth should be up like this, but my bottoms are kind of like on an angle like this. Um, and then he also said my bite on this side is not fully closed, so we also gotta work on that. And he said the main thing for you is gonna be wearing your elastics when needed and all the time. And I'm pretty good with my, I think I'm pretty good with my elastics and if somebody really drills it in my head like you've got to do this for it to be done, then I'm going to wear my elastics. So right now I'm currently not on any elastics. He said, you know, we're not going to do that to you right yet. We're going to try to fix other things first and then we'll get you on that. So he told me that next time I come in the office that he's going to put a thick, thick wire which he said is gonna be pretty painful and I'm like if I had an expander and I had braces all at once I don't think anything's more painful or awkward or just very annoying as that yeah y'all that is my three years braces update it has been a hell of a journey but I like I said I would not trade it for anything I've really been enjoying this process but honestly it's about that time where it's like it's time to come off like I really want to enjoy my teeth especially before my wedding I would love for it to be off but the type of braces that I have like it's really not a big deal to me either and honestly braces have been one of the biggest blessings in how to take care of my teeth and just to want to take care of my teeth I've actually created like a routine for myself um, before I used to brush one time a day which was in the mornings and now I brush you know morning night and you know in midday if I really have to and then I also you know use my water picks so I feel like it has created like a healthy routine for my teeth and I wouldn't trade it for the world. Like now I can't even go to bed without brushing my teeth. I'll be hella tired in the bed and I'm just like, I can't do it. I cannot close my eyes. I need to get my ass up and I need to go brush my teeth. So I love that it, braces have done that for me. So yeah, hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. I will leave like all of the information about like, you know, my braces, my teeth, all of that down below. Also, if you guys have any questions, leave them down below. I will definitely get back to you. Now let's just roll the clip so you guys can see my teeth from the beginning to now.